Hi. Mobile gaming has been around since the 1990s. It started with simple block-based games such as Tetris and Snake. These games are easy to pick up and play and are good for passing time. Mobile phones and mobile games made quick progress. Already a decade after the first mobile games, smartphones were released. Even before that, mobile games started getting more complex, having more mechanics and storylines. Many huge mainstream video game companies expanded to mobile games, especially in Japan. This also meant that many intellectual properties got mobile game adaptations. Initial D was one of them. If you have followed this channel for longer, you may have seen videos of Initial D mobile games. These were all in Chinese, made by Chinese companies, but they were endorsed by Sega and Kodansha. But there are more of these games, many more. If you look at the Japanese Wikipedia article for Initial D arcade stage, you can see a list of browser games and mobile games. These games seem to be missing games, since they cannot be found anywhere. By searching deep, I managed to find a little information about some of these games. To start with, I found no information whatsoever on Initial D Gold Quiz basic knowledge, Initial D 2D Battle vs. Keisuke Takahashi, and Initial D 4. The games Initial D Drift Battle, Initial D Drift Battle Special Version, Initial D Drift Battle 2 and Initial D Project D were all developed in collaboration of Spaceout and Kodansha. Spaceout is a mobile game development company that has mostly made romance games targeted towards women. Kodansha is the publishing company that has published Initial D. All the games made by Spaceout were distributed on a site called Komige i Kodansha that was specifically for action games, or as they call them, character games. Initial D Drift Battle was released in June 2003. Drift Battle Special Version was released in September 2003, and from what I found, it's not very different from the general version. Drift Battle 2 was released in February 2004. Both Drift Battle Special Version and Drift Battle 2 were made for Tokomo 505i series and Drift Battle 2 is also supported by the 900i series. Both of these games cost 300 yen a month. Initial D Project D was released in April 2004 and it was made for the 900i series. It cost 315 yen a month. Moving on. We have a trilogy of games that are listed as subpoints under something called Initial D standalone version, open parenthesis, original comic chapter 1 version, close parenthesis. These games are Initial D 3D Battle slash 3D Battle Plus, Initial D 2 Sain, which is also misspelled as Sikin, and Initial D 3 Restore. These are all distributed by Vodafone using a service called Vodafone Live and developed in collaboration of Kodansha and Natsume. Natsume is a game developer that has been in the industry since the Famicom and Nintendo Entertainment System era. They also had an American division that split and is now independent. The American company is still making games to this day. The Japanese company is now known as Natsume Atari there is absolutely no connection to the company Atari from the Western world, and they are also making games for consoles and mobile platforms, but in addition to that, they are also in the pachinko and casino game business. Back to the point. Initial D 3D Battle was released in March 2004, and was made for Toshiba V601T and Sharp V601SH. You could connect your phone to a TV using a cable and play it on a TV screen if you wanted to. The game had Akina and Uzui. It cost 525 yen. Initial D2 Sain was released in May 2005. It was very similar to the previous game. It also cost 525 yen, but it additionally had Myogi and Thief 
Initial D3 Restore was released in May 2006. It was made for Sharp 905SH, a phone that also had a widescreen function for gaming. Initial D A Stories was released in November 2008. It was made for Tokomo 903i and 703i. It was distributed via iMode, a popular mobile data service in Japan. The price was 315 yen a month. There was also a website t86.jp, but now it redirects to Young Magazine's Initial D page. Moving on to the next generation of phones, we have Social Game Initial D that was developed by Butterfly. Butterfly is a company that specializes in making social games and other apps. The social game was released for feature phones in May 2011, for iOS in July 2011, and for Android in August 2011. The game was distributed by Mobage. The game's idea seemed to be about forming teams and rivals with other people. There was also a card collecting element. Initial D 3D Battle Stage was a game developed by Flamehearts. Flamehearts is a company that deals with game development, computer graphics and a few other areas. The game was released for iOS in January 2013. The game seems to be a mix of a card game and an accuracy speed game. It seems that the game was only for iOS. The game was either free or freemium. The last game in the list on Wikipedia is initially Public Road Fastest Battle, which was released in December 2013. It was marketed by Yahoo Mobage. It was a browser game. The game was centered around the card system. There are a couple other games I found that weren't listed in the Wikipedia article. Initial D Mobile Stage was made for phones 900i and 901i. The price was either 300 or 315 yen, probably 300 without consumption tax and 315 with consumption tax. Initial D Mobile Stage was probably just an alternative name of one of the aforementioned games. Lastly, there was a game just called Initial D. It was most likely an incomplete name of one of the games. It was marketed through Vodafone Live, it required a 256k color display, the price was 500 yen. It was released in April 2004. So, in conclusion, there are 14 Initial D browser and mobile games that aren't available and barely have any visual evidence anywhere. Mobile gaming is probably the worst documented gaming platform. The reasons for that may be that the distribution networks were quite chaotic until iOS App Store and Google Play Store centralized it and became monopolies for their respective operating systems. The ways mobile games are distributed makes it hard to archive them too, both legally and technically. Also, since mobile gaming is mostly casual, it doesn't build such a fan base and community as other types of games usually do. In this sense, mobile gaming is marginalized, but it shouldn't be. It's still a part of gaming history and should be treated equally among other platforms. I hope you enjoyed this piece of rather obscure history of Initial D related media and I hope there will be more chances to present and archive it soon. All the links for information and pictures used in this video are in a Google Doc file. The link for that is in the description. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.